Evan, and just that long list of deficiencies came from the state health department after their annual inspection back in January. Now they say behind these doors, the standard isn't being met, but jail officials say they're working to change that. I was just concerned about the number of deficiencies. A 12 page report from the state health department. In 21, there were no deficiencies. In 22, there was four pages of findings. In 23, there were six pages. And in 24, there was 12 pages. The report detailing where the Cleveland County Jail wasn't up to par. Bottom line is, is my, my goal and my job is to make sure we have a safe, secure, and a clean environment for those uh, inmates, and, and I will continue to do so. The report pointing out missed hourly inmate checks, trash and food left out, and standing water. It also raises concerns about the inmate cells, pointing out lights and vents stuffed with clothes and toilet paper, and cells that were colder than state standard. On the day that we got inspected, it was 13 degrees outside and the temperature inside the pod that they measured, which was scheduled to be taken down for maintenance, was 62.5 degrees. Plus, the state says the mattresses inside were unclean and torn up. Jail officials say they're in the process of replacing all their mattresses and working with staff and inmates to clean up, saying it takes discipline. Changing the culture, we're mentoring our staff and we're training our staff, and in some cases we have to discipline staff. And what is important is that we learn from the deficiencies and we work to correct them, and exact, that's exactly what my staff does. Now, the Cleveland County Sheriff says that most of those deficiencies have been corrected and that they're currently compliant, but jail officials say they know there's still work to be done. Reporting live in Cleveland County, Elise Jones, KOCO 5 News.